Here is a new chat GPT feature you're going to have to hear to believe. All right, let's take a look at it. Actually live, I haven't done it yet, so we're doing it together. So if you're new here, my name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people learn and leverage Gen AI to grow their companies, grow their careers. So please uh, subscribe to this channel, like the video, leave me a comment, but more importantly, go to youreverydayai.com and sign up for that free daily newsletter. All right, so let's take a look at this new feature. Uh, speech, yes. Uh, Chat GPT, OpenAI just released speech and a couple different, uh, different uh, voices here that we're going to go through and listen. So here's why this is important, y'all. I'm tired of Siri. I'm tired of Alexa. Uh, now that we have uh, these voices that sound very human ask, right? And they've been previewing these for a while, but uh, just made its way to the desktop version as well as a lot of the uh, mobile version as well. So this has already been available here and there, but this is a big, for, a big first public rollout. So here's how you need to do this. Uh, I'm actually not sure if this is available in free and uh, paid, but I do know if you have a chat GPT plus account, uh, $20 a month, it should be available. So you're just going to go to your settings and then you're going... Uh, down here, you go to your settings, and then you just go to settings here. And then you're gonna to go to speech. So pretty easy. Uh, hopefully we should be able to hear uh, these options as we toggle between the voices. Let's give it a try. All right, so unfortunately, apparently there is no preview, but that's okay. Let's go with Sky. All right, so all you need to do, uh, all you need to do is go to any uh, chat, and then you literally just click this new read aloud. So this is the feature. It's called the read aloud feature. Uh, so let's, uh, I believe this is Sky. Let's see if we can hear it. There's just some random uh, text that I put in there for a chat GPT. Let's listen. This text provides a comprehensive overview of the evolving capabilities of chat GPT and its applications in business and personal use. It emphasizes the importance of- All right, pretty cool. Uh, I do have to say, this feature has been available in other platforms for a while, so it's nothing revolutionary, except I think that ChatGPT obviously is leaps and bounds ahead of everyone, uh, except we, we are going to have to give it a quick head-to-head -head with Claude, uh, Claude 3. But now let's uh, take a quick look at, a uh, quick listen to the other voices. So that was Sky. I do wish there was an easier way to preview these. So let's now go to Cove. All right. Just making sure it's saved. Let's listen to Cove. This text provides a comprehensive overview of the evolving capabilities of ChatGPT and its applications in business and personal use. All right. So, I mean, these voices are super realistic, right? Uh, they sound, you know, obviously Siri, Alexa sound a little uh, robotic, even though I, I do think Siri is an actual person uh, that recorded it. Uh, so Cove, t I think Cove kind of put me to sleep, if I'm being honest. I got a little tired. Uh, let's listen to Juniper. This text provides a comprehensive overview of the evolving capabilities of ChatGPT and its applications in business and personal use. All right, Juniper was a little, little livelier, if I'm being honest. All right, let's check out. I think we got two more. Uh, so this is now Breeze. Let's listen to Breeze. This text provides a comprehensive overview of the evolving capabilities of ChatGPT and its applications in business and personal use. All right. Pretty good. So, I mean, so far, you know, first impressions, you know, most of these voices are pretty good. Uh, super realistic. Uh, let's try uh, Ember here is our last one, I believe. This text provides a comprehensive overview of the evolving capabilities of ChatGPT and its applications in business and personal use. All right, I think almost all of them, except maybe one or two, are pretty good. So that's it. I just wanted to give you a very quick overview of this new fe new feature. It's called Read Aloud. So check for it in your uh, ChatGPT app. Make sure you have the latest version. Uh, to get it in the web version, you might have to log out, log back in, restart your browser, etc. Uh, but it should be there. It looks like it is going under a... Um, kind of a generally general release rollout. So make sure you go check that out. And again, all you do is you go to your settings, then you go to speech, and then you choose your voice. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Let me know, are you going to be getting rid of uh, Siri or Alexa anytime soon? I might be using this a little more now. All right, I hope this was helpful. And if so, go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for another AI in 5. Thanks, y'all.